Hi, this is Steph from My Surgery app. This is a quick overview of the app as it would look on a patient's phone. So this is a simulator we have in a web application. Uh, so it does look slightly different to what a patient would have on their phone, but uh, for the purposes of this video, we've done it on the web application. So when a patient opens the app from their on their phone, this is what they come and see. This is the, the app's home screen. So you can see at the bottom here, we have four icons. Uh, the dashboard, which is this page here, which is their home screen, uh, a resources page, uh, information on your surgery and a what's on tab. So we'll go through the steps now for a patient when they first get to the home page. So you can see here, it's, it'll advertise your surgery name. For the purpose of this video, we've, we've got two, uh, fictional, uh, a fictional surgery, which is Grange Road Surgery, uh, which is part of Grange Road Cluster. Uh, so the patient can phone your surgery straight away if they click this uh, button on their phone it'll enable them to call your surgery uh, and then they can find out more about your surgery these are quick shortcuts or more about uh, your cluster or primary care network uh, if they scroll down if you do offer online triage with any other suppliers ask my gp e-consult accurix uh, engage health or clinic or anybody else we can link to the to your to your online triage provider here so this is the uh, practice managers dashboard um, which you get um, which which basically uh, controls the content of the app if you scroll down here um, if you enable a tick in here um, this will show up the online triage if you disable that because you don't offer online triage and save it that will take the online triage out if you change supplier in the future so this future proofs you for for the app you can just simply uh, uh, select a different supplier here update your url and then that saves in the app and it directs the patient then to uh, to your new um your new um online triage uh, if we go back into the app here we can scroll down there's a symptom checker underneath so patients can check their symptoms this is um this is allocated to you on where your surgery is located geographically in the UK. Again, we, we control this from here. If you if you we, we put a symptom checker in, and then we can cho choose which um, in the drop down box which country you belong to. Um, if you scroll down, uh, we there's another uh, button here for auto medication. Now we do offer online appointments. So if you do offer it uh, online appointment, you can just put a tick in there, click save, and then if you go back into the app and refresh the app you'll see that there's another button appears for book appointments online and then that takes the patient to your online booking system of your choice however during covid times i know a lot of surgeries don't don't offer online appointments so you can disable that um, that functionality in the practice managers dashboard uh, save it and then that'll take it out of the app for you basically whatever whatever you could you put in the in the dashboard is updates straight away in the app then we have a load of health resources. They can either uh, access the resources from this here or again from the menu button down the bottom. These are health resources which are provided by the NHS. Uh, information links, videos, uh, there are uh, widgets and these are alphabetically uh, coded for patients to, to find things easily. Uh, we can also build, we, we look at we look at a couple, of, let's, let's look at BMI calculate, for example. So if somebody wants to calculate their BMI, they click here, and then that brings up a widget within the app where they can, uh, they can calculate their BMI. If they want to know about um, vaccinations, for example, there's a vaccination module down here, and they, there's a full vaccinate schedule of vaccinations, who has what and when, um, so, and, and if they want to find out about anything, so let's find out about flu vaccine, uh, that'll take them to more information about the flu vaccine. We also put, we can put in their videos about why patients should have a flu vaccine. Flu Jam, please watch this three minute video as it's important and share on because you could potentially save a life. So let's... So again, we can we can link to anything. These are national databases, but again, if you have localized pathways for your cluster or PCN um, for stop smoking or anything at all, really, we can build that in here for you. So no, not only do you have the national priorities, but you have localized priorities as well for your patients. And again, that's all built from the dashboard in the health resources uh, um, as, as an e E very easy uh, page builder for, for you to add any national, national resources but again there's another video on, on how to do that uh, on our website so that's the resources uh, again there's a button here for information on your surgery 
So this will again bring up info, information on the surgery. Again, they can call you from here. Uh, they can email you. If you don't want to uh, give patients your email address, again, just go into your dashboard and delete the email address. Uh, save and then uh, we refresh it and you can see uh, back into your surgery that the email is taken out so it gives you complete flexibility as to what information you give to patients uh, again we can see that this pa that the surgery is open until six o'clock but if the patient toggles on this they can see the um, the entire opening times for, for for when you open and closed um, and then again if you have branch surgeries uh, we can put, put as many branch surgeries as you want. This surgery has two branch surgeries, so the patients can see there um, the branch surgery address and the opening times. And if they want to call that branch surgery also with a different number, they can do that. Uh, again, there's practice teams here, and this is again controlled from your dashboard. You can add as many teams as you want, uh, doctors, pharmacists, AMP, practice nurses, healthcare support workers, administrative uh, teams, reception teams, management teams, and you can add as many team members to uh, to the uh, team as you want. So th this is me, I'm fortunately Dr. Gimlet here. I've got some new qualifications and uh, my speciality is musculoskeletal here and oh, minor surgery. So you can put a brief bio about any all the team members. So if you do have pharmacists, I know when I was a practice manager, uh, patients didn't even know what pharmacists could do. You can add a team there and explain to patients what pharmacists in primary care do and how they can help them with the medication. So it gives a bit of a more personal touch um, for, your, for your team. Again, you can add anything in there. Um, again, if you uh, scroll down here, there's a, a, other links which you can put in. Um, the out of hours is always there. Uh, again, from the dashboard, uh, we we populate the out of hours for you. There's no option to disable this because obviously you have to you have to advertise the information to to your patients. But again, if something changes, you can update that in this section here. And if there is a telephone number, we can link to that, and the patient can just click on it from their phone, and it and it, it dials that number from straight away. Again, private services. If you do offer NHS non non NHS services such as uh, certificates or uh, medical examinations or reports or vaccinations you can put your price list in there and again um, that's updated in the in the surgery page for for patients to see um, there's a gdpr statement there with what, what patients can do with with, with uh when they with home visits basically whatever you want to build in uh you can do that from this section here for when you add a page and it's add new and then you can ch uh, choose then uh where, where that goes but again that's that's in a different video for you um and then you can link to your twitter and facebook pages or uh, or they can view your website uh, down here, there's a what's on section. So this tells patients exactly what's going on in your practice and in the community. And you can you can contribute to this section either as a surgery or as a cluster or PCN. So if you do if you are doing something as a cluster or PCN uh, in the wider community, you can add this to this section here, um, and patients can uh, can take a look to see what's on. So we can see here the 20th of November. There's a digital education webinar. And they can click here and they can see what's going on and uh, how to register for the webinar. Um, let's go back and there's a flu vaccination. Uh, there's a lot of flu, vac flu clinics. Uh, there's a carer support group. It tells them uh, where it is, what time. And then again, you can put information about, about the inf uh, about there. They can narrow down what they're looking for at the top here. They can look for either flu clinics or they can look for support groups. Whatever you put in, um, uh, either as a cluster PCN or practice manager, uh, populates your app so patients can find out exactly what's going on locally. Uh, so again, we go back to the main dashboard. Uh, there's a section here, as I said, for, for your cluster or PCN. Uh, explains a little bit to patients about what the cluster is uh, and what, uh, what a cluster or PCN is and what you aim to do and achieve in the community. Again, you can put in their projects that you're currently doing. Uh, so this, this cluster is doing a care support group. Um, whatever you want really uh, and again that's that's that that's uh, controlled from the um, cluster or PCN manager dashboard and it's pretty easy to, to add these in um, so again you can see that the, this surgery started with the ask my GP and it's a little explainer video there to tell patients how how to use the service um, again there's a section for upcoming projects this is what you're hoping to achieve in the community um, and again that that's built from the cluster or PCN uh, managers page and again there's a section for uh, social prescribing and now 
when I was at Cluster Lead, we did a lot around, around social prescribing and care navigation and signposting patients. So again, there's a, there's a section here for, for that, so you can tell patients what, what about all about your, your social prescribing activities. And again, add sections here to say, um, to say what you're doing there. Uh, again, there's links if you do have Twitter pages or Facebook pages for your cluster or PCN, you can link to there. But again, you know, if, if you're sending push notifications through through the app, do you really need these these additional resources? Uh, but that's a diff that's a, a, a different discussion. Okay, on the left hand side here, we have um, a section where patients can access their account details. Uh, so they can put the information in there. If they ever do leave your surgery and they move to another surgery, they can just change their preference there. And that brings up a geolocator. It may not work on the desktop uh, section here, but yeah, it does. So they, they can they can again look and search for for their for their new surgery. And when they do save it, then they they, they move automatically over to that surgery. Um, let's go back. And there's a they can, there's a help and FAQ section which takes them to our website. Uh, they can give us a review. They can take a, uh, they take your te your friends and family test, or if you are running surveys in the surgery, you can put the survey there, that, and they can auto populate that that section. Uh, and you can send a push notification to tell them about the survey. We have linked with the Good Things Foundation and Learn My Way to offer digital education to patients. Again, this photo does resize properly on a phone, so patients can link to this. It's a free resource which helps patients to get online if they're not, um, if, if you don't have such tech savvy patients. This is now offered through our app. Uh, they can, they can, it's learn my way and they can learn at their own pace. It's got covers such as simple stuff like using a keyboard, keyboard or using a mouse uh, in, up to improving your health or managing your money online. This is available in any language and this is a free, free resource which is available now through the app. Uh, we'll go back uh, into this section and then there's again a, a short contact your surgery and the privacy policy or they can log out. Uh, they can upload a photo of themselves also. In the top right hand corner here is where the push notifications come through. So on their app icon on their phone, they'll get the number uh, indicating uh, that there is a notification waiting to be read. And then once they open it, they can open it in here. And again, we can see that Green Road Cluster has sent a notification to say that flu vaccinations are now available. If you're in the following cohort, you're, you're eligible for a flu vaccine and tells them how to book an appointment. Uh, this is a different icons. This has come from Grange Road Surgery to say that they're now asking, are uh, using an online triage. So you can differentiate, patient will differentiate between the, the surgery um, and the cluster uh, to, to get, get used to, 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 to knowing that you are working now in clusters or primary care networks. Um, so that's it really. That's a brief overview. Uh, it helps you as a PCN or a cluster to really build a database of um, if you're working with a voluntary sector or third sector database of services, which you can tell your patients about the centralized database. And it gives your patients uh, a single entry point to everything you do as, as um, our surgeries, clusters or PCNs, and it really can help you. So this is a brief overview of the patient's view of the app. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit our website or uh, contact us directly. Uh, this is Steph from My Surgery App. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video.